the theme for this meeting is unleash, I like that term, unleash your leadership power. And what I've learned from leaders like yourself that unleash their leadership power is they are always looking for ways to reach a little higher, to better their best. They are perpetual students. They always guard against letting acceptable get in the way of exceptional. Come from experience I had driving from Canada into the United States, and I was stopped at the border by a guard. He walked up to my car. Sir, are you a United States citizen? I said, yes, I am. He said, well, sir, I need to see a form of identification. I said, well, certainly. And I reach into my back pocket, pulled out my license, and I hand it to him with both of my hands. And I could tell he was a bit startled. Now, one of the basic tenets, I believe, about possibility thinking is realizing there's some circumstances in life that we can't change. People are going to be curious about my hands and about my legs. It is what it is. But here's the good news. Our attitude determines how we see what is. The border guard came back to my car and he said, Sir, where are you coming from? I said, well, Vancouver, Canada. How long have you been there? I said, only a couple of days. Third and final question to me was, where are you going? I said, Seattle, Washington. I thought these three questions might be relevant and remembered for all of us in this room. Where are you coming from? Now certainly as leaders, we cannot live in the past. But effective leaders like yourself, they learn from the past. A few years ago, I wrote a book called How High Can You Bounce? It's the title of my presentation today. My, the book How High Can You Bounce did fairly well until I spoke at the National Skydiving Association. <laughs> the word bounce made them a little uneasy. And in this book, I talk to leaders and I ask them this question, how did you not only bounce back, but bounce forward? And it was fascinating to a person they gave me nearly the same answer, and here it was. I looked into my past, and I looked for evidence of courage, of strength, of perseverance. That is wisdom. I looked up wisdom in the dictionary, and I was really struck by what it said. It said, wisdom is experience and reflection. I thought, wow, that tells me that just living our lives doesn't necessarily give us wisdom. In other words, it's not automatic. Wisdom is intentional. It's going back and evaluating life experience, learning from life experience that gives us wisdom. As leaders, haven't you come in contact with a person who's discouraged and you'll notice this pattern? They go back into their past and they relive past hurts, past disappointments, and past failures. And then you know what they do with that? Then they start to rehearse similar results. I don't know about you, but every time that I'm filled with self-doubt and I ask myself the question, where, where am I coming from? I think, Roger Crawford, you're forgetting what you probably should remember and you're remembering what you probably should forget. Where are you coming from? How long have you been there and where are you going? How about this? We choose what we mentally DVR. I've been waiting two months to deliver that line. 